Hi, it's Alistair at Lazarus Training here again. Uh, you know we're doing our Facebook Live series of videos. Slight interruption to the normal service today. Uh, we're running a first aid at work course next week, the three day workplace course um, to health and safety recommendations. Very popular course, but unfortunately one of our clients has had to move their delegates from that course to a future course. And this means that we've ended up with some spaces suddenly available. And we decided to send a message out to existing clients and potential people we'd love to work with and let them know about our training. And one of the questions we were trying to put across was, well, our first aid at work training is different from many people's, but how do we put that point across? Some courses, you're sat there in the classroom, arms folded, watching a PowerPoint presentation, slide after slide, and maybe if you're lucky, you get a go on the resus Annie. That's not quite how our training goes. Yes, we go to the classroom to put in some basic theories and some basic understanding, but more of our training is done via scenarios. Uh, we're in our scenario room here where we can change the walls, the colours, the noises, even the smells that is going on around you. But I wanted to show you a little bit more about the kind of scenarios we put our delegates through. Um, we really believe in hands-on practical training. So what I'm going to do is open this and the camera's going to go out and you're going to see the point of view that one of our delegates would see as we put them into these train slides. Now, we've got our vehicle here, and we've got our bicycle, and we've got Paul Kelly, our casualty here, who seems to have been quite badly injured on both of their legs. Her face is hideous and it's injured. So this is the kind of thing that they'll encounter on the courses. Now, so why have we got a car? Well, in the UK, between March 2015 and March 2016, there were 1,780 road deaths. There was somewhere in the region of 23,000 other people seriously injured in accidents to do with roads. So whatever workplace it is, we believe that road traffic collisions, road traffic accidents, car crashes, whatever you want to call them, is a risk that people face. But one of the other key factors is that we don't know what environment people will specifically end up doing their first aid in. So we try and give them such a diverse range of experience. If we pan around, you can see we work in our warehouse areas where there's lots of corridors which can be used to replicate warehousing, ships even. We've got uh, this car here that's damaged and we've got stuff we can set up inside it to allow people to practice scenarios in there. But then down to bicycles, we've got a lot of casualty simulation into our courses. Now Kelly is okay, and if you know Kelly, don't worry, she is alive. We will treat her soon. But something people should be aware of is that the training is highly practical, involves gallons of fake blood. Now obviously I hope that we never have to deal with scenarios like this, but on our first aid at work training we believe that you learn much much more by being out in places like this, getting your hands on and working in environments that are slightly more realistic. You can hear background noise, you can hear voices the other side. I don't have my phone on me, these are all things that people will have to work through and it's better they work it through here in training than in a real life case. So what we hope to do in the last minute or two is just give you a snapshot of how we conduct our training, specifically how we conduct our first aid at work training. If any of you are free next week on Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, uh, we've got a couple of spaces left and that is what we're just trying to promote at the moment. So any questions, as always, post them onto the Facebook, onto our comment on our YouTube channel or just contact the office directly. But we look forward to speaking to you. Kelly, give us a wave. And she's still alive. <laughs> no Kellys were harmed in the making of this video.